Hello, every monster. Welcome back to another part of my little monster palooza. And today I will be opening the Creepover dolls, which I am super excited about because I've had them for so long, but a lot of things have been going on right now with my family, with my home life, with school, and I just literally have been sleeping on them. Like, I have the entire Creepover line, and the only one I've opened so far is Twyla. So I am super excited to get these dolls finally out of the box. And um, then they can join my kind of little creepover setup here. I know this Draculaur isn't a creepover doll, but it comes with kind of like the coffin bed. And I've got Twyla over here, so I just can't wait to free them and check them out. So right now, I think I'm going to unbox Miss Draculaura. She's my favorite. I really love the fact that she has baby hairs and these buns. She comes with tons of accessories and a little Count Fabulous that actually has his wings folded up instead of out, which is super cute. Here is the artwork. I love it. This artwork is actually really nice. It's got Twyla in there, which I was super excited to get her basic doll in Gen 3. You can see there is artwork on the side here and on the bottom. Check the shoes, those are cute. Here is the side of the box. It just says Monster High. Here is the back of the box. The whole thing is art. I love it. You can see Draculaura is over there painting her nails. And there's the squad over there. Frankie looks adorable. I can't wait to unbox them. Here is the side of the box. Has more art that is supposed to go with the doll, so there's sweet screams instead of sweet dreams. A moon mask, a diary. Ooh, I can't wait till we get G3 diaries. I would love that so much. Scary cherry drink. That's cute. Ice cream, which the dead tired um, Abby doll actually comes with ice cream, so I wonder if that's kind of a hint that she will get a dead tired doll. That would be super awesome. But yeah, I'm going to take this plastic piece off and then show you what Draculaura looks like in the display of the box, and then I'll completely debox her. Here she is, kind of out of the box, and this Monster High symbol actually has different types of sparkles than the first line of dolls, and you know I like to take these off and display them, I can actually show you. So, kind of up here with all of my stuff, I've got a Monster High box piece that's out right next to my doll, so that's super cool. So here's what Miss Dracula looks like in the box, and oh my goodness, her robe is so soft. Like, I can't stop just feeling it. If I had a robe this soft, guys, I would never take it off. It would be so bad. Um, two different colored earrings, which I love that they made the black one on the pink side and the pink one on the black side. Here's that box art again. There's cute nail polish. I love that. And the little spiderweb tub. A face mask. A pillow and a little bed for Count Fabulous. And there's what the floor looks like with all the art there. And just the creepover art. So yeah, I guess now I will completely debox her and we'll see how everything looks. So one thing I kind of wanted to note before you completely take Miss Draculaura out of the box is that her robe down here was held in by two little pins. So just be careful when you're ripping her out. I don't know if it might tear the material. I was able to just to just um, carefully snip them off, but just be careful when you're unboxing her because she does have her robe pinned in at the bottom and I'm sure the others do too. And um, once again, I just thought it was funny. I'm probably going to take her head and rip it out of the box because they put it in there so tight. There we go. Miss Draculaura is free. Okay, so here is Miss Thing out of the box. She is so, so cute. I'm in love with all of the pink and black. It's so good. Like, this is a whole vibe right here. So she has little space buns and some baby hairs. And like I said, the earrings are hearts with bat wings. And they've got the pink one with the side that has the black hair. And then the black one with the side that has the pink hair. Her shirt says Fantastic on it. And there's a little heart above the eye. Her pants have a little bit of this like mesh right here. And they're kind of high-waisted. And then they've just got a ton of patterns on them. 
And then here are the slippers, which is something that I've missed from G1. So I'm super excited about these. They've got little, it looks like little bats. Yeah. With the nose and the eyes. I love these. These are good. <laughs> and then on the back of her robe, she actually has these little bat wings, which are super cute. They're just kind of made out of like a felt material. But yeah, here is Draculaura. So here is the little bed for Count Fabulous. It's super cute. It also has a pillow and then like little stars in it. And there's the back. And it just lays here like this. And then here's little Count Fabulous with the little wings all tucked in, kind of sitting down. I love the bow. I think very similar to the original one. Um, as in like the G3 original one that she came with, her first wave for Gen 3. Other than just that this time this time um Count Fabulous is sitting with the wings tucked in. And I'm guessing that's just kind of how Count Fabulous sits in there. And then Dracula comes with this pillow, which I really wish was uh material, although it is like a very squishy plastic. You can squish it, which is really cool. And it's a heart with more bat wings, which seems to be the theme with most of her dolls, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cute. I like it. It reminds me of like Moshi Monster. Here is the little basket that Dracula came with and it just has spider webs. It's kind of a translucent gray black color. And then two nail polishes, which are the same. One's just purple, one's black, or one's uh, pink. And they can go in this little basket. And if I'm being honest, the hardest thing to get out of her box was the nail polish. Here is the strawberry juice, or no, this is cherry juice, I'm sorry. And something that I really love about G3 is like all the water bottles seem so realistic because you can actually, of course, now that I want to show you, I can't get it off. You can actually pop the lid off and it's, it's like a real drink. And the lid is actually this little green heart, which is super cute. Now, although I think that this headband is cute, I really would have loved to see a little eye mask for Dracula. I think that would be so cute because Claudine comes with one, Twyla comes with one, and all of the other, um, like the Gen 1, the uh, Dead Tired dolls, they had them. So I really would have loved to see that, but this headband is super cute. It's like a translucent pink and it's just bat ears. And lastly, we have this little face mask, which I was afraid was just also another hard plastic piece, but it's actually this rubbery kind of gummy feeling thing. So I'm actually going to put it on Dracula and kind of see how it goes. So it kind of looks funny with it on, but instead of like cucumbers on the eyes, it has these pumpkins with faces. I don't know if you can see it. And it does leave breathing holes. Now I was going to put the headband on her, but I'm afraid with her little space buns that it would ruin it. So I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's a super cute doll and she comes with a lot of accessories. The last thing I want to do is I want to actually compare it to the Gen 1 Dead Tired doll. So I'll go grab my Gen 1 Draculaura Dead Tired doll and we'll kind of compare the two. So here is the original Dead Tired Draculaura. Um, mine does have loose legs. I loved her whenever I was a kid, played with her all the time. Um, she does have the striped hair like most of the Gen 1 Draculaura dolls did have. Um... And the classic bangs, some really light makeup. Her heart was outlined with a darker pink. Um, this Dracula also has really light makeup, but her heart, her birthmark, is a solid black heart in the new gen. Um, she has two pigtails that are standing straight up instead of the two space buns with the long hair. And these dolls were actually kind of like a budget line. They didn't come with many accessories. So... She came with um, Scary Movies, which the accessories actually in her Dead Tired play set, but I'll compare all of the accessories and stuff once she gets, because I do believe that she will get a Dead, or a, not a Dead Tired, a Creepover play set. So once she does, I'll compare all of those things, but right now I'm just looking at the dolls. Um, so this Dracula did have a, a, a sleeping mask that was already on her and I've never moved it. I've never taken it off because I didn't want to ruin the dolls. So I just left it. So this is just how she came. Um, she has this light pink outfit with ruffles and a black bow. So it's completely different, but 
still Draculaura, still cute. And then her shoes were little hearts with bat wings, which kind of matches this whole theme a little bit more because she has a lot of hearts with bat wings, but it still has the little cute bat face with fangs. So I think it's pretty cool that they kept the fuzzy slippers with faces on them. So yeah, these are the two kind of side by side. I'll grab both of them so you can see what they look like um, when they're standing on the same level. So here's kind of what they look like. There's obviously like a big height difference because they actually made this generation Dracula shorter, which I love. Um, but yeah, their makeup is really similar and their shoes are pretty similar. So I like that. Their lipstick is almost the exact same color. I love the purple eyes and the light pink eyeshadow. They're both just super cute. So I hope you enjoyed this. I loved getting to do this for you guys and I hope you guys have a great week. Let me know what you think about her and if you have her or if you want her. Bye!